heard you. Yeah, At 93, John Goodenough may move a little slower, but his mind is still in a hurry. <laughs> his distinctive laugh fills the hallways of the engineering department at the University of Texas in Austin, where he is on a quest to build a better battery. Because they have the oil, and they have a, an oil cartel, and one needs to free oneself from that. The self-deprecating professor and researcher invented the lithium-ion battery 36 years ago and powers just about everything we carry in our pockets and increasingly what we drive. So there was a gentleman in Japan who said, aha, I'll take good enough's cathode and I'll take the other man's carbon anode and make the first full battery as I'd envisaged it would be done. He's widely credited with writing the book on modern batteries. It has made a huge impact, uh, the way in which we do business, the way in which we communicate. You, did you do experiments to show the dendrites form? The next challenge for Goodenough and his longtime faculty colleague, Dr. Arumaga Mantharam, research on sodium batteries. We have to find a way to store the electricity produced from renewable sources and use it efficiently. I'm interested in getting a better anode so that I can get more energy density and so that we can have electric cars so that you don't have all the emissions. Many teams around the world are working on energy storage breakthroughs of different types and Goodenough says there's still plenty of charge in his own batteries to discover the next big idea. There are other people with trumpets out there too. <laughs> John Moan, Associated Press, Austin, Texas.